Meghan received a painful blow for disrespecting the Queen. The Sussexes kicked their asses before Megxit. Hello and welcome to the Princess Diana News YouTube channel. Now a royal expert claims the photo clearly shows Meghan Markle being formally escorted out of a theatre in London where she thought she had already arranged a meeting. The late Queen apparently wanted to be with Ms. Meghan was due to discuss the matter on January 8, 2020 but Meghan told the late Queen she would not be able to see her then. You see, Meghan had her own meeting planned. As a result, the late Queen cancelled the meeting at the theatre and Meghan showed up without her knowledge. Apparently, in Meghan's mind, the late Queen was an old lady who was easily ignored and couldn't be listened to. Meghan is convinced she can handle it all that I'm referring to this woman's arrogance. So Meghan was taken to the airport with two bags of clothes and belongings from Frogmore Cottage. That's why her diary is still at Frogmore, because it wasn't packed for her. Royal protectors took Meghan aboard the plane, where Sophie, the Countess of Wessex and Prince Edward were waiting. They stayed with Meghan until she left the UK for Canada and it comes a day before Meghan and Harry posted a statement on Instagram that they are stepping down from their royal duties and intending to half-ass the deal. They all said, without consulting the late Queen. And at the end of the day, he is the one who decides everything. You see, Meghan never wanted to show the late princess some respect, so she packed up the start and loaded it up. Interesting, isn't it? to think that Meghan and Harry actually believe they have a certain weight. I am appalled by Meghan's apparent arrogance and stupidity. Ah, uh, Meghan isn't too bright, is she? We would never think of her as an intellectual. But she was too stupid to understand that I'm so glad these details are coming out now and that the Queen has dumped him as she deserved. Meghan's nerves are simply unmatched. The evil he has brought to some good people is simply astounding. It also leaves something to be desired about the exact influence the two believe they have on the incredibly kind queen. Half out of the royals, what happened to them? Chapter I mean, they have to be hot or cold. They have no right to dictate their own terms, and if they step down, they should stop exploiting their connections to the royal family and just try to make a decent living on their own. They need to stop complaining about being left out. They are adults and have enough money. They could easily live on this money if they wanted to. Maybe they could try spending their time on something productive. You know? I'm glad Megan was escorted onto the plane. She was so conflicted and although it does not surprise me, your highness. I also looked at the close-up of this photo and saw that Megan is not wearing any rings on her left hand. So the photo could show her being taken out of the marina. Gangplanks often have aluminum handrails, as do many beach access points. We already know that Megan once illegally boarded a yacht with entertainment staff and was caught in the owner's cabin. According to reports, the shop owner is an elderly widower and Megan was spotted looking through her late wife's jewelry. How terrible. So he did the right thing. He put her up in a cabin and called the Florida Marina to ask shore security to pick her up. She was eventually questioned and then had to go home alone. I think people often forget the fact that other people have eyes in their heads and we can see exactly what you're doing. You don't have to be a genius to figure it all out. Apparently, there was a scene at the National Theatre where Meghan was asked to take off her wedding and engagement rings and wrap them. She refused to do so and apparently they had to take it from Meghan by force. Well, can you imagine what she would do if someone touched her physically and forced her to return those rings, I can only imagine the look on his face, like a demon. I was sure she would scream and struggle. Chapter I really want to see this in a movie. If that happens, maybe we'll get there one day. Let's not forget that the engagement ring also featured the diamonds from Diana's earrings, and the wedding ring contains the remains of Welsh gold, which was first used for the wedding ring of Her Majesty the Queen Mother, Queen Elizabeth. 
They didn't have to leave the UK and that's why Meghan wasn't allowed to wear them in South Africa. They were afraid that he would make a move to exchange the diamonds while he was there. That Meghan Markle just has no manners. He is so crazy, she is so unqualified. I can't describe how stupid her behavior was. What a joke. She tried to humiliate the Queen not once, but twice. Once throughout the meeting, another commented, Oh, the service was average, Meghan is a waste of oxygen. I have never been so angry in my life at someone who is truly so petty. I wish those two would listen to their common sense as they suggested. They make me sick. And I really feel for invisible children. If they are real, I believe they are in great danger living with these two crazy people. And what they say, oh my god, is disgusting. And I know that karma will come. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again. Meghan was kicked out of the UK after she was caught taking photos of private homes and was apparently caught taking photos of Little Charlotte, which they may or may not have accidentally shown in the documentary. Now if there was a man who took unauthorized pictures in Little Charlotte's bedroom, I wonder what they would have done with him. However, the truth is that women can be just as bad at this as men. It is very rare, but sometimes it happens. Meghan likes to talk about how much she wants privacy, but what she really means is that she doesn't want any negative information about herself or her photos or ghost kids out there. However, she believes that it is perfectly acceptable to photograph a sleeping child without the parent's permission and he was a guest at little Charlotte's house. Why did Meghan do this? I guess she thought she could sell these photos for a pretty penny. Apparently she actually told Harry and Charles that too. So Harry finally called his father and Charles allegedly kicked them out of the country. I wonder if this coincides with the time when Harry stopped the relationship for a while. Well, Harry was flying to Montego Bay for the insult then. Skip the wedding. Well, of course Meghan couldn't let that happen. He could not miss it, she ended up ruining the entire wedding, which was such a shame for Harry. You know, maybe fall will start soon, if it hasn't already. I believe the entire story of what happened in the theater because we already know Meghan is selfish enough to do something like this. Chapter she could have been escorted to the airport at that time. But I remember another time when Sophie came with her from England earlier, she did not go with Harry to that meeting with the Queen in January 2020 because she expected Harry to handle everything on his own. He is such a coward. She wanted to be safe back in Canada with little Archie if he was real. But she didn't want to take him back to Britain because she was afraid that he would be taken from her and raised there. It's also interesting if we think about this whole Meghan story in the context of what's going on in society. Everyone, we live in postmodernity. The age of the personal computer has arrived. It will become the defining virtue that really afflicts our society, the attitude that symbolizes sacrifice and power grabbing. The BLM Corporation took control. You see, these movements show that being a victim not only gets you a lot of attention, it also brings a lot of power and money. And it's a shame to me that so many people out there have used these movements not as cultural healing events, but as a means of dominating others. This is such a waste of time, energy, and mind. I think that one day we will look at this time and not be proud of what happened. True or not, this story does not make Meghan look good. I guess she made it her life's mission to destroy the royal family because she couldn't do IT.as a working queen, she could not do that. And the princess was not the naive, naive, little granddaughter that Meghan thought. The princess was very clever and extremely intelligent until the end. And the queen conveyed so many wise thoughts to the senior members of the royal family. Meghan is definitely not going to win this battle she started. Do you agree with this view? Let me know what you think in the comments section and we can discuss your thoughts and feelings too. If you find my video useful, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family, they will appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to Princess Diana News for more news from our team. Now, thank you very much for your attention, and bye, I'll see you back in the next video.